What's up, everyone? Glad to see you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So before we dive into this, I just wanted to say I'm usually not one to criticize games, but this game is truly special, and not in a good way. My in-game character's name is Kilowog. I have had this account since 2014 and used to be DCUO obsessed. Matter of fact, if you were to ask me a decade ago if I'd ever quit, I would probably say something like not in a million years. Yet here we are in 2024 and what I'm about to say may shock you, especially if you've never played before. Now, the whole premise of DCUO was pretty amazing to me at first glance. Not only could you choose to be a hero or a villain, but you could join the DC universe as a superhero and make friends, team up with those friends on microphone, and not unlike many other games, do pretty interesting cooperative missions with your peers. And if you didn't have any friends, you could actually just queue up with strangers. And as they say in game, pug it which essentially means playing with strangers and hoping you'll reap the rewards at the end, but nothing is guaranteed that way, and is more up to chances you may get undergeared and inexperienced players this way. Now, when I began to play this game back in 2014, the first thing that caught my eye was free-to-play. And of course, like most so-called free-to-play games, it's anything but. In order to have special access to certain equipment like utility belts, for example, that allows you to place trinkets and other items to aid you and your team in combat, you need to pay for your monthly subscription, along with access to certain levels, etc. Now, back then, it really wasn't a whole lot of money per month. Matter of fact, for a limited time, you could actually purchase a lifetime subscription, which, by the way, is totally bogus, because a friend I used to play with named Rhea Freya that actually bought it for a mere hundred bucks had it recently revoked due to account inactivity for a mere couple of months. And of course, as the years went by, so did the price. And no, it didn't stay the same. It went up to the point of ridiculousness, because if you were to check out the graphics as you can see here, they are truly nothing special. So why pay more when you have literally the most horrible graphics, the most boring NPCs, the most boring raids and alerts, constant updates, new gear that if left alone will quickly become useless and replaced by newer and slightly better gear? Well, to put it simply, because it's a scam and a vicious circle at that. Now, I've asked a few friends that I still keep in touch with that play the game why they still play, and the most common response is because they've invested so much time and money into it that they could never possibly leave, and I agreed with them for a long, long time, until I finally came to my senses and deleted the game and left the horribly toxic community for good, which in hindsight was probably the best decision I could have ever made, and I strongly urge you to do the same if you're a current player. Believe it or not, there are tons of better games out there, and just because you've sunk thousands upon thousands of dollars into your avatar, yes, it's true, I know many of you who have, it doesn't mean you should stay. That alone should make you want to leave. And as I mentioned before, aside from the awful graphics, boring quests, and extremely broken PvP, which has, by the way, been left without an update for a very, very long time, why you ask? Because PvP doesn't make money, so why bother, right devs? And as the time went on, the game itself switched hands between various companies, and you'd think the game would improve as the price went up. But it did not improve. In fact, it got worse by adding expensive trinkets they call artifacts that you can upgrade for only a few mere hundred dollars or wait a good year and a half to upgrade them for free. And let's be real, most players do not wait. They pay out of their wallets to feed their addiction to this drug of a game. So they're not left out. And it gets worse. I know literal leagues of hundreds of people who waste hundreds of dollars a month on items from their in-game store called replay badges whose only purpose is to replay levels over and over again to get gear or in-game currency to buy gear that will 1000% be useless in a few months after the game is updated, then replaced with old recycled content and new shiny gear with slightly better stats. This is the vicious circle and scam of DC Universe Online. Not to mention these devs also add little incentives like gold omnipotent gear with much more generous stats to get you and your friends to pay for even more replays to get this gear, which will only last a few updates before rendered useless. 
Now, if you really want to stand out in the game, you can play on Elite Mode to get the slightly better gear that, when combined, will give you affinity bonuses that, let's be honest, are just there to hook you in even further. If you think you're impressing anyone, believe me, you're not. The only people you're impressing is your bank as they watch the incredible amounts of money you spend on this game slipping away into the hands of your drug dealer of a dev who has their hands tightly grasped around your wallet. Impressive, right? Wrong. So, before you tear off my head in the comments, I will say that the entire community itself is pretty toxic, but that doesn't include everyone. I've made a ton of friends from DCUO that are truly amazing people. In fact, I've made friends back in 2014 with a player named Evil King, who remains my dear friend to this day. He even came to my wedding. All I'm saying is the amount of cons outweigh the pros of this game, and the only way I'd ever come back to play is if the price went down to what it should be. $10 a month or less, which, let's be realistic folks, is still pretty high for what you get. The amount of cons the devs of DCUO will go through to get your hard-earned money is impressive, from booster bundles which contain nothing but aesthetic rewards, replay badges that are meant to get you trapped in an endless cycle of spending so you can fit in and have the most updated gear that won't be top-notch for long, experience boosters which accumulatively add up to hundreds to get those trinkets up to par, among many other scams, all you need to do is check out their marketplace, but I suggest you stay away. So friends, I urge you, again, to stay away from this game at all costs. And if you do play and have found a way to truly play free without wasting your money, I applaud you. But let's be real, we both know that that isn't the case. Stay well, friends, and thanks for watching. Don't forget, you're valuable and you matter. Please subscribe if you like the content here today, as it's free and costs you nothing, unlike DCUO. This is your friend The Traveler, signing out. Smash that like button, subscribe, and tickle the little bell icon, please.